Hi everyone and welcome to this beeswax candle DIY. I'm going to show you four different ways on how to make different shaped candles. Be sure to watch until the very end because I will share a great tip with you on how your candles will burn longer and with minimum dripping. I'm from Germany and beeswax candles are always something that reminds me of home because they are a stable at any Christmas market in Germany. But besides smelling wonderful, they also have great side benefits. Because they are all natural, they have a much lower toxicity than other candles. They also neutralize pollutants by producing negative ions when being burned and help therefore to eliminate dust, odors and mold in the atmosphere. And last but not least, beeswax candles also have the brightest, purest light of any candles and are also closest to the natural sunlight. I linked all the materials that I used in the description box below. We are going to start by measuring and cutting our wax sheets. This first candle will be a taper candle. A standard taper candle measures 7 8 of an inch in diameter at the base of the candle. With these sheets that I linked in the box below, we'll get that candle width by cutting the sheet about 8 inches long. Now grab your cotton wick, gently press it to the very bottom of the sheet and leave out about half an inch at either side of the sheet. Before I start rolling the candle, I usually fold the wax tightly over the wick once or twice. You want to make sure that you always roll as exact as possible along the top edge of the sheet. Gently press the wick to the candle on the bottom and flatten the base. Et voila! You just finished your first candle. These taper candles would look so beautiful in a Christmas wreath. This next candle will also be a taper candle, but with a little twist. Literally. Use another 8 inch wide sheet. Now we will cut it diagonally. Move your ruler about 1 inch lower than the corners. Attach your wick the same way we did with the other candle and start rolling. This is the only candle shape where you will focus rather on the base than on the top of the candle while rolling. The next candle we are going to make is a pillar candle. Cut the wax sheet however long you would like the candle to be and cut several sheets the same size.
After attaching the wick and rolling the first sheet, add another sheet by slightly overlapping it with the first one. Repeat this step until you use up all of your sheets. This last option is a fun one that would also be great to do with kids. You will need some extra materials though. A cutting mat or something similar, some cookie cutters, and a toothpick or preferably a skewer. Now go ahead and cut out a bunch of the same shape. I wanted my candle to be a square shape, but I didn't have a square cookie cutter, so I just cut out a ton of little squares. Now we will layer them on top of each other as exactly as possible. Once you've finished your little shape tower, press it down a little bit. Take your toothpick and make a hole in the center all the way through the candle. Insert your wick by pushing it through with your toothpick or skewer. And you're done. And now as promised I have one major tip for you to make sure that your candles burn down even more evenly. You can either let them rest for about a year before burning, but who wants to wait that long, right? Or you can simply stick them in your freezer for about three hours. I mean, look at this difference. The right one burned down so nicely with little to no dripping. The second one, ah, not so happy looking. That's it guys. I hope you will enjoy making these candles for yourself or for your loved ones. If you want to see more DIYs, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at Damaris Kovac Art or you can check out my Etsy shop which is called Damaris Kovac. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful rest of the day and I see you guys in my next video.